Okay, so this is going to be video uh, 10 of the, uh, the horde that I have. No, this is going to be video 11. I just did video 10. So if you watch video 10, uh, you notice that I, I stopped it early because I had this envelope that I was going to mix in with that video. And then the first, it says errors, right? So, so, so what happened was when I was separating the coins of the hoard, right? I'm, I'm assuming this because I don't remember, all right? And I mu some of the errors must have been so obvious that I just put them like, I put them to the side and, and I don't want to mix. I want this to just be the error envelope video. So that's what we're doing now. <clears throat> and we're going to see if we see anything. Well, each one of these is supposedly has an error. So. Oh, okay. So there goes something there. Let me get my loop out. I mean, it doesn't mean that there's an error. Everyone has an error. That could, could just be damage. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's an edge hit. Uh, but I, like I said, I really didn't go through it. I guess I just saw it, and I saw something big, and I just threw it. Anyway, I also have my scale here. If something feels heavy. I'm looking for over uh, 3.2. How's the condition on this? That's a really nice condition penny, though, regardless. I'm putting that with the fines. Or very fine, or so whatever. Look at this one. Now, I'm pretty sure you can disagree with me if you want. Oh, it's 1928. I'm pretty sure that that's, that that's grease. I've seen it on several pennies, and it's just sometimes grease gets on them, and you can't, it's, they have, it's, they're always very black. And you can't get rid of it for some reason. Now, someone is going to say, that's not grease. That's paint. I don't know. It doesn't look like paint to me. Now, the eight is very weird in this also. So maybe that's why the person put it down as an error. Let's weigh it. That's the, by the way, that's the oldest penny that we've researched so far. And the only reason we're, we're looking at it is because it's in, um, we're looking at, we're looking we're going out of order to look at. To look at this envelope that says errors on it. Nice looking penny. I don't know where the error is there. I'll put that with the fines, though. That's a great looking penny. Obviously, if you see an error that I missed, put it in the um, in the comments with a timestamp. Okay, thank you. I don't know what the error is here either. Maybe I saw that little mark in the uh, the rim. I'm not going to go nuts with stuff like that, though. Thirty-nine. That's an older one. Don't see the arrow. I, mean, I found some wicked, wicked errors in uh, the search. Well, like I said, if you see it, yeah, let me know in the comments. I've seen these little scratches or something. I thought there were errors. I mean, there's a little, there's some, a couple marks there, I guess. It could be a lamination error. It's a nice condition coin. Okay.
So, so far, a goose egg. I was getting kind of excited, hoping we would find something interesting. I don't know what the errors are, why I put it to the side. Okay. Yeah, this one has a lamination error. All right. I mean, something. At least we found something there. Hmm. This one feels heavy. Let me weigh this. I guess it's the D. Nope. 304. Actually, light. The L and I. Okay. How about the back? Well, let me look at the D and the L and I. No, that's the L and I is just smashed. Eh, maybe the D is doubled. I don't know. Let me, let me rub it a little bit, see if I can get some of that dirt out. Oh. Well, check this out. Now that I put it under the, the, the thing, the loop, yeah, there's a straight up triangle in his temple. That's pretty wild. All right, I'll put that to the side too. I mean, these are all supposed to be errors. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh, it's the front and back. Oh, that's pretty wild. All right, uh, let's see how much it weighs. Yeah, you know, I'll hold on to something like that. It's, it's different. 303. Let me just angle this down a little bit. Hold on, hopefully, hold on. I have to angle this a little bit. Let me move closer. I think it's that D. Has to be the D, right? Let me see. Now, I, now again, I might have just put him in there. Um, I don't know, with like a question mark or something. Let me weigh it. 309. Oh, I didn't see nothing there. If I don't see nothing, it's just going into the search pile. I don't see any errors. And definitely nothing to write home about. Ah, there we go. That's nice. That is a nice, that's a beauty. That's a beauty die crack right there. All right, we got one. So I'll put that as, a, and so I have the other, the other pile, super errors. That's one, only one. Oh, this one feels, let me see. I, I would swear that this is over three, three point one five. Three, two, six. I told, I'm telling you my thing, twinkle, twinkle thumbs. So it's a, uh, so it's, I mean, that's not why I put an error because I didn't have a scale. I wasn't weighing these then. So we still have to look for the error, but it is, um, it's an overweight. Nice condition. You could feel it. You could just feel the damn penny so heavy. I don't know what the error is. I have to look under the loop. It's, it is overweight though.
I don't know. I'll put the little sticker, the overweight sticker on it. Uh, actually, I don't write overweight. I, write, I just write heavy on it. Okay, so we got a heavy. We have a heavy and we have a severe die crack. That's pretty cool so far. I don't know. But the L, is that what I thought was an error? The L in Liberty? Yeah, I don't care. Uh, check out the D. I don't see anything. That sure is a big mint mark, that's for sure. That's all I really see. I'm going to say no to that. This one feels heavy, too. Not as heavy as the last one. Yeah, 318. That's, I mean, it's heavier than usual. Huh. Almost looks like a P. Like, you see that? Isn't that crazy how it looks like a P right there with the shadow? This is a nice condition penny. This is a fine condition penny. Let's check out that D. I don't know where I thought there was an error. I don't see it here. Let me check the back real quick. I don't know. I don't see it, but it's really nice condition. I will put it with the uh, with the fines. Let me tell you. Me and the 1950, we got we got issues. Because the other 1950s that I was looking at, the O, the zero, looked like a little tiny O, and now this one looks kind of big. I don't know, maybe it's just bright. Yeah, I really don't see any errors here. I could weigh it. 311. All right. I'm not going over, to overthink any of this. Okay, obviously by the four. I'll check that out. Let me see what the weight is. 308. Nope, that's just dirt. I have to check the edges because I'm I haven't been I feel like I haven't been checking the edges for um for rim cracks. No. So there were some errors and then some. Obviously not errors.
Um, scratched up. That's too bad. Some really nice condition. I don't know if the error is. Maybe I, I don't know. Too bad. It's a nice looking penny. Maybe I thought the. Uh, maybe I thought I had a lamination error. That one was pretty heavy. Let me, let me, let me weigh that. Nope, three oh three. Nope. So I have an, I already have uh, my search bag going. You know, so that way I don't mix them up with. Uh, this is a nice. This is a nice condition, right? I don't know if that N. You see the N's a little shiny at the top and unum. No, it's just a shiny spot. The D looks normal. I mean, it's in it's in good condition, but it's not nothing right home about. Maybe I saw that they were dark, and I thought that was an error. Yeah, that might be a lamination error. Let me see. Nah. I don't know what I thought. Maybe there's a little, little marks at the top. And this is the last one. Okay, well, we looked through it. Nothing to write home about. We found some nice, condi good condition ones. We found a, uh, we found a heavy one, and we found this great, great die crack. I wish I had a hundred of these. That's nice. That is sweet. So we found two, two good errors, and we found a bunch of, like what I would say, common errors, and maybe a, you know, extra fifty cents or a dollar. And we found some good finds, and that is the end of video 11 uh i'm not sure if i'll do another one today uh i was gonna say hopefully not but probably not but i might let's see how how i feel okay let me get these two up and i'll either see it later or i'll see it tomorrow